Hey guys, what is going on? It is Master Rob here. Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing better than Clash of Clans question mark number two. Yeah, this is the second one. You guys loved the first one. It was such a good video and you guys really got into the whole vibe of it. It got like 7,000 likes to 1,000 dislikes uh, and the controversy on it that you guys were like discussing in the comments was amazing to see. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for all the support on the more recent videos as well. If you guys can smack that like button for me uh, to show the love, that would be amazing. So what is this game of? What are you showing me? This looks really retro, weird, and not very nice. You'd be right to say that because this is Backyard Monsters, the first, the first of these kind of building your base, stealing loot games that ever hit the App Store. So this, everybody, because one of the things in the comment section I saw was, these are just copies of Clash of Clans. This here is the original. Clash of Clans is a copy of this. So I thought we need to pay some tribute to it. We need to check it out and see what it is all about. So we are currently in here. We are currently Town Hall level, uh, not exactly level high, Town Hall level 5. So a pretty low Town Hall. But I thought I'd give you the gist of the game, show you what's what, show you a couple of raids as well. So in Backyard Monsters, you are in somebody's back garden, obviously, Backyard Monsters. Uh, and it is the exact same style. You need to go and attack people, steal their loot, destroy their base, bring Bring it back, upgrade yourself, create new troops, etc, etc. But the troops you get in this game uh, are actually pretty interesting, I'm not going to lie. Let's have a look at them here. So you can see them down the bottom. The art style is very strange. I'm personally not a fan of the whole art style in this game. I know some people love it, uh, but it is kind of weird. But you have things like this. I mean... If you just have a look at that, it's like on its back doing a crab walk, uh, and it's pretty intense. So this targets defenses, has 240 health, and it's called a Gargantua. Now this is the most beast that I have at the moment, uh, is a Destro- Destronaut. Destronaut. It's flying, it has a lot of health, and it goes for the defenses. So, why not we get straight into this? Why don't we just go do a raid? Now, the last game I played, Total Conquest, as well, when I showed you guys that, we got it trending on the App Store. If you guys go download this game now to play it, uh, that would be awesome. Go play it. But in when you go review it, make sure you put Master of Sent Me. Let's see if we can get the review section for Backyard Monsters just saying Master of Sent Me, or Master of, or something like that. That would be absolutely hilarious. So we've got two modes now. We've got Invasion Mode or Campaign Mode. Campaign Mode obviously being single player missions, which we'll go and do. Uh, and the other one being just attacking other people. So that's uh, pretty ex explanatory. Uh, and to be honest, we can destroy this base uh, without much work. Now, these are going to be fairly easy because I've got kind of higher level troops now. Uh, but if I just throw them in, you'll see they'll wipe these out nice and easily. But this is the art style. Now, whether you're a fan of it or not, uh, it's quite interesting. It's very similar. It's kind of got a lower down approach. It still goes for the same three star mechanism. So you still get three stars when you win. Um, but you can see it here. Now, like I said, personally, I'm not a big fan of this art style. I don't really like it. It, d it just doesn't seem smooth. It seems a little bit clunky. And I can definitely see why Supercell went, you know what? We can make a better version of this game, which is exactly what they did. They kind of, well, I say stole the idea. They took an idea, they improved upon it. Now, look at that. Sorry, but just look at it. It's just walking on his back. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. So that's a single player mission. Very easy, very simple to do. Just like any kind of campaign we have in these kind of games. Uh, and we're going to go now and raid another player. So if you like these kind of things, tell me down below in the comments what other games I should play. I've already got a few others that I'm planning on playing for you guys to show you some other opportunities. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what there is yet. So that right there is like uh, the biggest... I think that's like the biggest thing in the game that you just saw. Uh, he is the boss of the game. Alright, so we are going to go up against Zandrail, Zandrail, and we're going to wipe Zandrail's butt. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what all the defensives look like in this game, uh, so my attacking is a little bit... So they're, they're both... Uh, so that's like a mortar on the right, and the one on the left is just an ordinary cannon. Uh, so we're going to throw in some of these and then follow those up um, and just kind of allow, allow my troops to go in and break them down. I think they, uh, they run past it. So what, some of them have just run to the wall and start working on the wall, which is actually quite good because then we're pushing in to attack them from the center. In goes the attack. Like I said, those flying things, those destructoids or whatever they're called, are insanely good. They go straight for the defenses, uh, so they're going to run through and go for the defenses. So are these like laid back chair kind of things. They go for defenses as well. So I'm going to throw uh, a couple of these long range scorpion type things uh, and they're going to wipe that out. And we've been able to destroy this base very, very easily. 
Uh, we've used quite a strong attack on it, but it is good fun. This game, I know I was kind of said, you know, the art style, eh, that kind of stuff. It is actually really good fun. Um, one confusing thing, when the buildings get destroyed, they don't just go like flat. They ex not explode, but they change what they look like. Um, we can also retrain stuff straight away, which is pretty cool. So we can retrain it. So once you finish the match, instead of going back and like redoing those troops, you hit that button retrain and for a, a, a discounted price, you can go and invade somebody with the exact same troops. So we're going to go and do that. Now, again, this game's completely free to play. It's the exact same kind of mechanisms. Wow. That base is confusing. That is super confusing. I don't know how to attack this. Uh, should we just, should we go for it? I don't know if we... I know those right there. They're laser cannons. Uh, they're lasers in the center. That's an anti-aircraft. You know what? Let's find another yard. Let's search for somebody else's. So you're going through people's back gardens, by the way. That's the whole kind of style of this. Uh, it's going through people's back gardens and trying to find an easy one to attack. We're going to attack uh, on this left-hand side. Let's go in then, boys. You go break down those walls. Those are going to go in as well. Uh, and there we go. Let's, should we just throw like pretty much everything in? Those there, those little purple things are like the starter ones. We also have an airstrike that we can throw in uh, that does quite a lot of damage, actually. It does take out quite a few. So we're going to throw a couple of those in. Uh, we should destroy some walls and let, us, let our troops get in there. Uh, and then we're going to throw in some of our long-range stuff as well, just as a little bit of a backup. And hopefully we will push forward and take them down. I don't know what happened to my air droops. Oh my god! I didn't even notice that! He's got like a dragon dog thing. Right. I've been completely wiped out. My god. I have been destroyed. Wow. Okay. I didn't even notice that. That's something I haven't come across yet. So some of them have um, defensive structures. Which are kind of uh, people defending your base. So kind of like the Barbarian King, Archer Queen, for example. Uh, they're defending them. And they come out, I believe, of this thing here. Which is the Champion Monster Lair. Uh, and you can see here, you can unlock stuff to defend your base. So that's Drull. But you can see we've also got Korath, who is also locked. But we can go on it and go... Uh, defend. If we click start, this is like another campaign mission uh, to see if we can defend against this guy. And if you can defend against him uh, and do enough defense, you then win him to uh, to like defend your base. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, he comes out. He spawns in a load of these stupid little bouncy balls. They come in. They get absolutely wrecked. And that's it. That's the first wave complete. So we just have to do these waves. And once we've completed these waves, we unlock rule. Which is really cool. And there's um, eight waves to do. So let's do another wave and see how it goes. Where are you, Droll? Oh, he's not coming out this time. So he's sending in uh, troops from all around the edges, as you can see here. Uh, and they're able, actually, to shoot over. Now, most of my defense is in the middle of the base. So they're going to be able to take out these kind of corner buildings. But then hopefully when they start moving in, there we go. Now they're starting to be attacked. They're starting to be taken down. Hopefully we can take them down here. Uh, and if we unlock Drill as well, that's going to be a really good chance to defend our base a little bit nicer. Uh, now, there is another game I'm going to be showing you soon that is similar to this kind of style. But you're actually a bunch of gangsters. And you're raiding other people's villages and their own like little mini cities. It's absolutely awesome. If you want to see that, hit the like button down below and tell me as well. It's going to be really cool fun. Uh, and I'm really enjoying doing this series, to be honest. It is a nice breath of fresh air. So they're actually going to, going to beat my base. Because as you can see there, this guy is on. Uh, my town hall and sadly it looks like he's going to just take out the town hall as well even though it's just one of them doing it super slowly he's not being targeted by any of my defenses and it looks like is it, if he takes out my town hall is that it is that the end of the wave no it's yeah it was oh your town hall was destroyed so there we go but we're going to work our way up Unlock Drawl, which will be pretty cool. So, that is Backyard Monsters, guys. We're going to go and do one more live raid uh, before we end here. We're going to go unlock some more medals. Now, this has a really good ranking system and everything. Uh, I'm going to play it for a little bit. And I'm going to create... You can create your clan of sorts. So, I'm going to create that. It's going to be called Masters of Ov again. Uh, so, if you want to come and join me on that, make sure you do. Look, he's unlocked Drawl. There he is. Working like a champion over there, uh, defending his base. We're going to try and find something else. Let's find a completely different base. Ah, oh, this looks good. Can we take this out? I hope so. Let's let's try and take it out. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to, but he's unlocked Drill as well. So we're going to lure Drill over here. I hope. Yeah, there we go. He's coming over. All right, let's take him out. Go on, take him out. Oh my god, he's so strong. His attacks are ridiculous. I'm going to throw that in there as well. 
Yeah, there we go. Draws down. Attack, boys. Attack. We can take this base out. Let's end on a high. Let's destroy this base. I'm going to throw another one in. There we go. Yeah, we're going through. So you don't use as many troops, really, in this game, I find. Uh, but the troops you use are, like, more powerful and they kind of do more damage. But you can see here, we're going in and we're wrecking this base. We're already on the town hall. Look at my troops going on the town hall. Sadly, this doesn't have a fast forward button or anything like that. Uh, it is missing a few things. But it is pretty good fun to do. Uh, and it's a completely different style. So you might really enjoy this style. And if you do, I do recommend giving it a look. Seeing how it goes. I'm going to throw another missile down there to take that out. And that is it. We're just taking the last few buildings out. So there we are, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button down below. And I'll be bringing you more of these games so you can go and play them yourselves. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much for the continued support. Peace out.